Hey, hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here and welcome, welcome to my channel where we look at all things Sims and where today we are checking out the long awaited trailer release for The Sims 4 Discover University. Now, if you spend any time on social media at all and specifically on social media that keeps up with The Sims, you know that this pack has been requested by the simming community more times than any of us can count. People have been clamoring for this one for ages and we're finally getting it. So I think slash hope we're going to have a lot of happy and excited people. So what we're going to do today is we're going to let this trailer run through and then we're going to go back to the beginning of it and look at it bit by bit a little bit more closely to see what we can see. And while it's running through, I'm going to take this opportunity for a quick channel plug and let you guys know, especially if you're new to my channel, that I do put out at least two or more Sims related videos a week, everything from builds to tutorials, challenges, pack and trailer reviews, fashion shows, cast videos, and more. So if you like The Sims, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the little bell for notifications so you don't miss it when I put out new videos. And we are coming towards the end of the trailer where we're graduating. So let's go back to the beginning and have some fun taking a closer look at it. All right, so we are going to slide this all the way back to the beginning and our opening scenes here. We have our little art scene with Brightchester University. We get two different universities with this pack. We get Brightchester University and Foxbury Institute. So that is within our world. We are going to get the ability to ride bicycles around Brightchester University, according to the pack description. I'm kind of hoping we can ride bicycles around the whole world, but I have a feeling that bike riding is going to be confined either to a university campus or to the world that we're going to get with this pack. So, but this is, is what the first university looks like. It's very pretty. I'm kind of hoping that these buildings in the back are not just sort of decorative buildings. I'm hoping that we get the windows that we see there and the textures that we see on the building. I So fingers crossed for that because I think the windows and stuff look really cool. The entrance in the building in the back, this entrance right here is very cool looking. So I have my fingers crossed that these are not shell buildings and that we actually get those items. So we'll see though. I'm just going to do a quick pause here because she's got a little cap on her arm and I do believe that that's a new tattoo. I've seen a new, a few new tattoos and things in the trailers and, and in the trailer and that's one of them. So that's kind of cool. The little soccer animation that we get there, I wanted to keep that backed up just a little bit. The little soccer animation that we get there, we get to juggle soccer balls now. So that's one of the new things that Sims can do is juggle soccer balls and apparently hit each other because it looks like she hit that dude. So that's one of the new things that we have. And obviously bike riding. So there's a lot in the trailer on bike riding. We get that guy, we get the girl, we can see the, the bikes going around the university campus and whatnot. So bikes are definitely a thing. They're sort of advertising them. I feel like they're advertising them in this trailer the same way they advertised the jet skiing in the, uh, the Island of Sulani trailer. Island Living Trailer. That was it. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like the, there's some focus on bike riding and it's cool. The thing that I'm most looking forward to when it comes to bikes though, actually, is to have them as clutter items in the house. You can so tell I'm a builder, right? Because I want more clutter items all the time. And so I'm actually looking for, forward to bikes for that reason. I'm hoping that, that they're good clutter pieces. And now this image is showing us some mascots. We get some mascots. Uh, I, according to the project, the, the project, product description rather. I'm talking all over the place today. I don't even know what I'm saying, but according to the product description, we get to high five with the mascots and stuff. I don't know if we get anything else with that, but the product description does say that we can high five. We can see some new clothes in this as well. So we definitely get some new clothing items for our university students. And there's those, oh, before we're, we're going too far ahead, those windows, that's a closer view of those windows. I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that that is not just a shell building and that we get the cool university looking windows there. I like this little kickstand animation too. And her sweatpants are pretty cool as well. Some college sweatpants with some, some lettering on the back that to me looks like it's meant to look like, like some Greek lettering for a fraternity or sorority. So I think that's pretty neat. 
And then there are some new things that we can do. I believe Debate Club is one of those things. And I think that that's one of the things that they're showing here. You can also join a secret society and I, there's a few different things and take different kinds of classes. We're getting three new careers as well. Uh, law enforcement, education, and I think engineering are the, the new careers that we're getting. So yeah, and, and different clubs and things like that that you can do at the school. We can see build bywives. We can see some, some new wall hangings and stuff in the back. I think that this texture in the back might be new as well. And the rug doesn't look readily familiar to me. That looks like it might be a new rug too. All right, so they're debating for a second. We get some debate outfits it looks like too as well, which is pretty cool. And we are back to some bike riding. And now we're at Foxbury Institute, it would seem, because they gave us the new title. And robotics is a thing now. There's a robotics club and you can also play with these robots. This robot that's in this image does not look too pleasant. He sort of ends up kind of getting to fight with the guy a little bit. But we can see a lot of new build by in this image, which is is probably my favorite thing about this image is that there is a lot of build by stuff here. I, almost everything that we're looking at is new stuff, actually, from the wall coverings to the pictures and items on the walls to the robot the, itself, of course, and the different desks and, and things over here. The windows are new as well. Uh, these these look like a modification of some windows that we already have, I think. And this, the same thing, looks like a, a little bit of a modification of some windows that we already have, but I think that we're going to be getting those too. And so here we have the, the guy is going to end up fighting with the robot. Yep. That does not look like it was going well. Then we get this next thing where this girl's in the bathroom and she ends up with a friend consoling her. So I guess that that might be a new activity. So you can go in the bathroom and cry when you're not doing well, maybe. I don't know. But the thing, I saw this image and of course, you, you know I'm a builder, right? So the thing that I looked at in this image was this toilet paper dispenser and I started wondering if we were going to get that. So... <laughs> Of course, that's what I wonder, right? I know I'm not the only one, though. I know other builders are looking at this stuff, too. So we get another image here. We get some some more imagery of that class room that they're in. And also her glasses are probably the other thing that's kind of interesting to, to point out here. Glasses, clothes, all of that good stuff. All right, this is sort of the pleasure zone for the university. We get some ping pong. I'm really excited about the ping pong and I want new skills. I want new skills, hobbies and clutter. That that to me is like the perfect pack. I And I know everyone's been clamoring for university. For me, it's skills, hobbies and clutter. That's what I want for a pack, a pack entirely devoted to those things. So the thing that I'm very happy about in this is the new ping pong skill. I'm really delighted that we get that we also get juice pong as well and we're going to see that at the very end and i think when we're looking at this i think that we've got new tables and chairs here we have a new bar which i know some people complain because they think we have too many bars i'm cool with it I, i'm good with anything new that they give us i think the wall hangings are new i'm not sure about the wall texture in the back that brick texture i'm not sure if that's a, a new one or not that's a new hairstyle too by the way i kind of like his hairstyle that's that's a good new one this here is kind of interesting because this little guy bounces up and down i don't know what he is doing but he bounces up and down which is is kind of funny i don't know what it is i want to know what it is so bad because it's it's funny and different so yeah, we'll watch it bounce up and down. Then we get a study room. So I think that we're in a library here. And I think many of the items here are new as well. Uh, the items on the wall in the back, we've got some flags, we've got some artwork stuff. I actually think that the wall texture in these columns are new. And I think the bookcase might be new. The chair is definitely new. And I believe the desk is new as well too. So definitely some good new stuff. I'm kind of hoping that these, we have this book, this open book over here with the one underneath. I'm kind of hoping that this open book and and this one here in the front i'm kind of hoping we get some books as clutter items or really any clutter items any clutter items make me happy anything that's cluttery oh this makes me laugh this next part 
with the keg stand. This is absolutely hysterical. Oh my God, I can't even believe that they're doing keg stands. I don't know if the rest of the world is gonna understand this. I would have thought that this is just an American thing, like a crazy American college student thing, but I, I don't know if the rest of the world doesn't happen to understand this and I have some foreigners watching this. What this is, what we do in this country, our crazy college students, is we get beer kegs and they do exactly what's being shown here. One guy lifts another guy up, upside down, and they drink out of the beer keg, and it's called a keg stand. And you're supposed to drink as much as you can and all of that stuff. And so I cannot believe that they included that, but I think it is so hysterical. So that's one of the, the activities that's kind of cool to me, just because I, I just can't even believe they included it. And I guess I should probably mention too, is I think that all the furniture in this image is new. I think that that's our dorm room furniture or at least part of our dorm room furniture that we get here and we're going to see a little bit more of that coming up in the next segment right here so we get a good feel for this i think that this item to the right with the books i think that's a clutter item because we're seeing it here and then i can also see it on the shelf over there and i think maybe the little happy plants and the happy I, happy this one's happy too i'm going to start sounding like bob ross with painting we have the happy plant and we're going to have the happy books and <laughs> so yeah i think this plant anyway is new whether it's happy or not i don't know but but the thing i am most excited about in this image oh my god i'm so i'm, I'm so excited i'm beside myself is the mini fridge look it's over here the mini fridge it's under the micro microwave I'm so happy. I've been wanting a mini fridge forever since I did my, my Willow Tree Estate build because I had this beautiful outdoor pavilion and they had this kind of full kitchen outside, but it just does not make sense to do a full refrigerator outside. It just doesn't even look right. But if you have this outdoor pavilion, it would have been so perfect with a mini fridge. And now we're getting one, which is awesome. I do hope that we have some versions without stickers and things on them. But either way, I'm just delighted we have a mini fridge that makes me so happy. So, and I think all the other stuff in here is new as well. Maybe not the TV, but uh, the stuff on the, the wall and, and this container over here and, and the different chairs and shelves and all that good stuff. So, yeah. And this is interesting. She's kissing him. Looks like she's in some kind of shower and she's going to drag him in there, which is kind of interesting. So I don't know if we get a new woohoo zone or what, but that's kind of cool, right? Now we're back in our debate section. These two are going at it some more. And then we get to the toilet paper segment. So apparently our folks can do some pranks and they can toilet paper areas on in other schools. So that's what the toilet paper thing is about. And then we graduate and after graduation, apparently we're going to play some juice pong, AKA beer pong in the regular world. So I think that this is another cool little addition. I'm happy that we have a little pong game because it's so college esque, right? So, that is our trailer. So what do you guys think? What are you guys excited for? I, you're probably not as crazy excited about the dang mini fridge as I am, but <laughs> maybe because you're sane and I'm not very sane, but I don't know. But so let me, let me know down in the comments. What are you guys most excited about? Are you excited about the pack? Or are you just kind of ho-hum about it? Or what are you thinking? Let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, do hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for spending the time with me today. Hope to see y'all back again next time. Bye now.